Hello. <clears throat> we're live. Actually, we're live. We're live. We're live. We're actually alive. Oh, Lord. At least the internet is working today. Hello there, Waglish Pear. I love your name, by the way. That's awesome. <laughs> That's a great name. Oh, uh, we're actually live. So we were supposed to be live yesterday, and then the internet decided to uh, just, like, not happen. Um, and right now it's holding up today. It looks like I'll probably have to move streams to earlier in the day than I even thought just because of the internet um, and that it's unusable for streaming once it hits the evening. So uh, I'm just going to have to use it in the middle of the day. So yay for lunchtime streams. Might be good for people doing lunchtime streams. Although it would be odd, it would be actually, no, the camera's fine. It would be great if people, if you're watching, if you could tell me if it looks, if the stream looks good. I, I know that the sound is okay, but if it's like choppy or if it's like really pixelated, please let me know. I'm doing the best I can over here with what I got. Um, but yeah, um, so Waglish Pear it looks great. Thank you. That's awesome. It seems like the lag's not too bad either. So Waglish Pear, I've never seen your name in the chat before. So welcome. My name is Marty. I run Unknown Era Films, which is a uh, media production company that I own. Oh! I want to live in a pokey house. I want to catch that electric mouse. Happy 30 months. 30 months? Emily, you're insane. That's amazing. That's incredible. Thank you so, so, so much. Stream looks great. Yay, it's working today. So I like I, I was saying before, I don't know if you were in by the time I had said it. I think I'm going to have to move streams to like middle of the day, like noon because it seems that's the only time that the internet's good. So, but 30 months of friendly harassment, that's amazing. You're too nice, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love also the Dr. Seuss-esque uh, rhyme there of, I wanna live in a pokey house, I wanna catch an electric mouse. Imagine, um, now I want that. Now I want a Dr. Seuss-esque Pokemon book. Noon is good. I'll be lurking because I'm finishing marking, but I'm excited for stream ECA. Hope your marking is going well. I was just welcoming new to the chat. Waggle it. Wag. I'm saying waggleish. Waggish pear, which um, I was explaining. So, yeah. So, uh, Unknown Era Films, we stream occasionally when we can, when the Internet's working. Um, do stuff on YouTube, do podcasts and stuff. So. Check out all the stuff on uh, right now. What we've been, what I've been doing on our streams is opening Pokemon cards because I got really back into Pokemon. So I'm going to be opening some shiny shiny. Uh, thank you, Electron Avram one. Thank you so much for the follow and welcome on it. Uh, opening up Shining Fates today. <clears throat> you're named after the best fruit. Pear is the you're saying pear is the best fruit. I got a hard disagree with that, though. And thank you, Waglish, for I say Waglish, Waggish, Waggish pear. Just probably call you pear. Thank you, pear, for the follow. I don't know. Pear seems like pear has always seemed to me like an off apple. Hello there, Electron. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Waglish is a Pokemon name. Um, yeah, again, I'm Marty. Get trying to stream weekly. I want your help. Okay. Wait, help with what? Help with what? What is a good category for Pokemon cards? Which type is better deck? Ooh, I was a Yu-Gi-Oh boy too for a long time and I fell out 
a while ago. <laughs> um, I don't play Pokemon. That's the only thing. I want to get back into playing Pokemon. I haven't played it for a long time. I only really played the online game. Um, so I don't know like deck structure or deck strategy. I'm more of collecting. So, but I really do want to play more. I'm sure it wouldn't take too long to like look up like what's the new meta right now in the game. Um, I always found it super interesting with the with the decks because or like with playing Pokemon because with playing Pokemon you kind of just stick to like one type, which is so interesting. Like, I guess it, I guess it was sort of the same thing in Yu-Gi-Oh and it's sort of the same magic where it's like you stick to like one type. Like it's like this is a vampire deck or this is an aristocrat's deck. You know, Yu-Gi-Oh is like this is a dragon deck, and I guess in Pokemon it's like. This is oh and Emily. Okay. Hold on, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> um But yeah, it's like this is an electric deck, so which is fine which is funny because it's like you buy so many Pokemon cards. Alchemy Well 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 look who we have here. 23 months. Oh Alchemy, welcome on in. How are you doing? Hope you're well. You're about to see something ridiculous. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for subbing, for resubbing. That's awesome. How are you doing, Alk? Hope you that you're good. Yeah, you're about to see some wild. <laughs> so, uh, if you don't know, uh, I we're using, we're using. Oh damn, that's not oh, poo poo. Hey, bullet. We're using uh, channel points right now, and Emily just redeemed. Points uh, <laughs> for a thing that we're calling Who is that Pokemon? So let's hit it. Who's that Pokemon? Hello, my name is Jigglypuff. Welcome on into the stream. I'm today's guest. Welcome on in. Uh, so many of you may know that I, many of you may know that I used to, uh, be a, a famous singer in the Pokemon region. Uh, what you didn't know too is that I'm French, <laughs> uh, but that I've also transitioned over to, uh, uh, poetry instead of singing because too many people, uh, too many people fell asleep during my singing and I hated that because they weren't listening. So today for you... I am going to recite to you a new poem that I am calling Wet Ass Pussy. And here it goes. I said, certified freak, seven days a week. <laughs> Wet ass pussy. <laughs> Make <laughs> Make that pull out game weak. Woo. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to skip to the verse. <laughs> <laughs> what's another what's another what's another one that'd be funny to do um i don't know that was as far as i took this bit in my head <laughs> you know being around pokemon with giant eyes uh it's not as fun as you would might think. Um, I don't even know what the fuck this thing is in the middle of my head. Is that hair? Is that hair? It's the same color as my body. Am I covered in fur? Who knows? Also, isn't it weird that like this microphone that I'm carrying, quote unquote microphone wearing, is a... Uh, <laughs> it sounds like strong bad from Homestar Runner. 
Isn't it weird that this microphone that I'm carrying is like a marker? Sorry, my nose is itchy. <laughs> it's it's so interesting. <laughs> it's not hair. It's the same color as my skin. But is that skin or is it hair? What what material am I covered in? Ah, <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done with that. <laughs> What did Strong Bad sound like again? <laughs> Good to hear it. Is made of, yeah, well, no, because that's what Al Creamy is now. Exactly like I just did it. I just need to hear it specifically. Hey, strong bad. <laughs> right, that's what it was. I strong bad. <laughs> I strong bad. Oh yeah, because it's a. Uh, what is it? It's. <laughs> what's the song again? What's the what? I I remember it from Guitar Hero. What is this? What is the song? Horn Star Ronger song. Hey, lazy, how's it going? What's that song again? Trogdor, that's it. Trogdor was a man. Why well, was a dragon man? <laughs> Trogdor! Oh god, I can I cannot scream like that. No way. So yeah, so today's Pokemon friend. <laughs> today's Pokemon friend is Jigglypuff. If you want Jigglypuff to come back and do another piece of poetry, uh you just have to use the channel points to bring him back and bring it back. As soon as I start, I was, I was like, okay, this is going to be the bit. I'm going to be Jigglypuff and Jigglypuff is going to recite poetry, but it's just going to be like really dirty song lyrics. As soon as I started reading <laughs> WAP, I was like, nope, not committing to this bit. <laughs> I could have gotten deep in there. I would just would have censored the stuff you shouldn't say. Stuff I shouldn't say. But there's some parts in that song that just make me laugh my ass off. Like, I, I, I just can't believe. I, it's more that I'm just like, good for you for just like committing. <laughs> like... <laughs> like Let's see. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I just want to read like, I think my favorite part. Is. I want you to park that Big Mac truck right in this little garage. I think that's the funniest part in the entire song. I, I, just, I just as soon as I hear that, I just can't deal with it. So stupid. <laughs> it's so good though. It's so ridiculous. All right, but enough about what I <laughs> All right, enough about WAPs. I, I tweeted this the other day. I said that uh, after 2020, the word gobble <laughs> to me is like instant. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to be with you because you outshine me every day. <laughs> oh, we gotta make more roasties. Um, but no, yeah, I, I, I tweet out, gobble me, or not gobble, Jesus Christ. Gobble is now like instant, like I hear it and I just, I just instantly get sick. <laughs> just cause now it's like, all I can think about when I hear that word is that song. And it makes me laugh and also makes me just be like, oh my god, I can't, I can't even right now. Because <laughs> as soon as you associate a word with something dirty, it just, <laughs> you can't turn back. You can't turn back. 
Um, so let's see. Right now, let me just check this really quick. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, so might as well get to card opening while the internet's holding up, and so we can actually stream. Um, so I'm opening up today. Uh, I got the newest set that just came out last week, Shining Fates. I have a couple of these collection boxes. Um, in total, I think I have like 13 Shining Fates packs because literally this is, this is all that's available. Like, holy crap, it's... You can't buy these cards anywhere. And not for cheap either. So, but I also do have, I also do have, I figured, well, there's other sets that have shiny cards in them. And I'm not just meaning like sparkly or you know, holographic. I mean, like, there are other sets that featured. Oh, we're dipping. Don't you fucking dare. Come on now. Come on. You can get you can do it, Internet. I believe in you. Not really, but like I believe. It. OK, good. Um, so I have some I have some other cards here that we could possibly pull shiny Pokemon. So the first set to no, actually, well, technically the first set ever to do shiny Pokemon was uh, Neo Destiny. And I have a sh I have one of those cards, but they weren't called shiny. It was called shining. So like better not you better not internet um i have in my collection a shining celebi it's probably the prize of my collection honestly um and then they didn't really do it for a while after that set and i think after one other set and i think in those sets like the early early sets there was only like maybe like a dozen shining book oh, for fuck's sakes come on don't don't you dare don't you dare go back to green thank you but so um this is shining legends from x and y no what's that was shining legends in look it up I'll look it up while the internet it fluctuates horribly. No, this is from Sun and Moon. Yeah. So this is from Sun and Moon, Shining Legends. So there's only like th three or four Shining shining cards in here. I think there's, there's Shining Mew, which you can see right there is blue. There's Shining Rayquaza. They're shining. I think it's other shining legendary Pokemon. But so can open. Ow. Can open this. I also have the next set that that featured shining Pokemon, which is do, 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 do. Uh, hidden fates, which is also Sun and Moon. So you can see like there's shining. You get you can get a shiny Charizard. There's a shiny Mewtwo. So essentially, we have like twenty packs to open. Uh, thankfully, the side that hit me wasn't a pointy side, so that's good. <laughs> it was hard. I'll say that. <laughs> Definitely was not round. Um, so let's see. I have four of these boxes and I've. So what we're going to do is we're going to open a Shining Fates, then something else, then a Shiny Fates, then something else, then yeah, we're going to do it that way. And also <laughs> box you slam. It was super effective. Uh, no one really knows the value of these cards yet. Like if I look it up and I'm because the Internet's being the way the Internet is, I'm not going to look up. There's a there's a full card sets, but there's not. A,
Come on. You can do it. It like f the internet literally fluctuates from like 1000 kilobits to 20 to 200. Oh my God, please don't. I'm going to turn off the music because I, I don't need that right now. I'm going to close and I'm going to close. <laughs> I'm closing literally everything that I don't need right now so that we can focus on. Okay. Um, right now, yeah, there's no real like price listing for this set. So like, I can't really look up just like, oh, which card are we hoping we get? This is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. Come on, Internet. Don't fuck me. So like right now, if I were to. Show you this. So this Skyla card is what is considered like the the best card in this set, but I know that that's not true. There are. Uh, like these trainer cards, I, I so want to get a ball guy. I want to get a ball guy so bad. But like there's like uh, uh, amazing rare Kyogre, amazing rare uh, Reshram. Like there's those cards. But I know that there's. If I go to here. And look at the actual set. On, uh, maybe if I turn down, I should not do this so that you can see what happens on my phone. <coughs> but I, I do just want to show off this. So right now, this is what the, well, it's because I don't want to use the internet on my computer because the internet is slow and I don't want it to fuck up the stream. But so I just want to show this off really quickly. Okay. So this is the set. There's 72 cards, but then there's 123 secret cards and they're all the shiny versions. So like this is what is going to probably be the chase card is this shiny Charizard V Max. That's probably going to be the chase card. That's the one that we're after. But I mean, I would love to just get any of these shiny cards because they're gorgeous. I'm trying to see. Um, I know I know that there's like shiny. Yeah, there's a, there's just a bunch of them and they look great. I don't want to use the internet computer while streaming on the internet. Words and logic betray you, sir. I need all of my internet power on my computer right now focused on streaming. If I start browsing the internet on the same computer that I'm streaming on, the stream will crash <laughs> is essentially what I'm saying. So I'd rather use the data on my phone to show something really quickly than have the stream crash because I go to look something up. Yeah, like I tried to stream yesterday and the internet was so bad. Literally last night, uh, literally last night, um, I did a speed test and I was getting less than one megabit. Less than one. 0 0.6. Megabit speed internet. So the good news is that we actually got in contact with the people that um, the company that has so I've talked about before, what are you paying for? I, we are paying a hundred something dollars a month, like $120 a month. And we're supposed to be getting 25 down. Yeah, there it goes. 25 down 2.5 up. And that's not at all what we're getting. And I went on this huge rant before. You try calling them. They have just a ton of excuses all due to the pandemic. Oh, we can't we can't upgrade any of the lines because of the pandemic. Oh, we can't service anyone because of the pandemic. We're operating at 400 percent bandwidth because of the pandemic. Oh, don't. But but we expect it to go back to normal. No, it's not going to go back to normal. Just fix your stuff. That's really all it is. Fix your shit. Um, 
And so I talked about this before, but down the road, literally about a kilometer and a half down the road is fiber. Um, and the company that has it, uh, we called them because we, we said, why? Why is it? Why can't you just bring it down the rest of the road? Why can't you bring it down the rest of the road? And because when they first installed it before. Auto by, shutdown initiated. Shut up, headphones. I, I don't understand why my headphones talk to me. <laughs> uh, when when they installed it, my dad had asked them like, oh, can you bring it down the rest of the way? And they said, well, we were only auto shutdown canceled. Shut up. We we're only Charging given battery. Yes, I know. <laughs> we we're only given. <laughs> I'm talking to my headphones. I hope you guys can hear that. Otherwise, I'm just talking to myself. Um, uh, they said that they were they were only given enough budget to bring it to a certain point. Uh, and if they were to bring it the rest of the way, i.e. dig underground, run a line so that it went the entire way. Um, it would cost, they said at the time, $30,000. We then talked to someone yesterday, and they actually were great. They explained everything to us. They explained how they get their money, how they pay for expanding their internet, all this stuff. Um, and they said it would probably cost them $50,000 per kilometer to run fiber. Um, and they said that they the way that they get their money to be able to expand is through government grants and that they have applied for probably about 10 million dollars in government grants and they're just waiting to hear back about getting that money so they can expand so then what i did was i left a message at our um our area's MP's office, which is like our it's not really like our governor. Like, I don't really know how to explain it. It's like our um it's not a mayor, because there are mayors for specific towns and cities in in Ontario. Um it's like an area and it's like the person that's like speaks for that area for the government. Um, um and so I called their office and I left a message basically saying, hey, so the government said that by 2021, 95% of people in rural areas should have internet, should have high speed internet. And you said it would be the speeds. Um, why? I don't know which government grants that they're uh, applying for, if it's local or if it's federal. But if it is local and you're the ones who are impeding them from advancing, give them the money. Like, like, why are you are here? You are in charge of helping people in this area, you know, live. And we need faster in it also because more people are moving here. More people are moving to the country or to rural areas because they don't need to be living in cities right now. Like the amount of the amount of people that have moved to the moved to this area because it's like, oh, I don't need to live in the city. I don't need to live downtown because I'm working online. I can live wherever. So then they have started moving out of the cities to here and countless people that my dad works for have said, why is the Internet so bad up here? And it's literally like unless you're in the middle of town, if you're out of town, it's like the dark ages. <laughs> I know that's first world problems blah 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 but like it just feels so it just feels like internet from 10 years ago and it's like come on we're in the 21st century we've been in a pandemic for a year you know that's all that's all it is all right i'm gonna stop ranting about that the internet's fine right now let's open some cards <laughs> let's open some cards it's been the dark ages here till until 29 so feel your pain yeah i'm no kidding i hope that you're doing well by the way lazy it's nice to see you all right so we're gonna open this shining fates uh so shining fates i kind of explained this yes 
yesterday, but I'll explain it again really quickly right now if you don't know. So collections. Um, there's two types of collections that Pokemon releases. There are main sets uh, where like it's like the major run of cards. So like uh, one of the latest ones from this. Uh, there's there. Sorry. There are a series which fall in line with the generations of Pokemon. So there's so right now we're in the sword and shield era, obviously. There are then major sets and minor sets. Major sets are like uh, Vivid Voltage, which was the last major set. The next major set is coming out in March, and that's... ah. I think this does it. It does do it. Oh, bullet. <laughs> Thank you. You're, you're, the, uh, you're the gym leader now. Uh, I feel really bad because you're the gym leader for today. And then next week, I, I, I'm going to reset it. <laughs> Or maybe I'll just leave it. My idea was that the gym leader would reset every single month, but maybe if someone like manages to be the gym leader, you don't care. Okay, we'll see. But I mean, hey, bullet, what Pokemon do you want to put up there? What Pokemon do you want to be the uh, the boss Pokemon? Because it is your you're the gym leader, so. Um, but like I was saying. Um, so yeah, so the next major set that's coming out in March is Battle Styles. Um, but in between Shuckle, oh yeah, you don't fuckle with Shuckle, baby. So um, do you want shiny Shuckle or oh boy. That just took a hit. Do you want shiny Shuckle or uh oh my god, literally. Oh my god, the internet just took a big shit. Is it because I'm opening this thing? It's because I'm open. Okay. Gonna be, uh, uh, let's see. Or shuckle. Gonna be dropping a lot of frames because for some reason this doesn't want to. Uh, where's Shiny Shuckle? Where's Shiny? Where's that sh Shiny sh Shuckle? There he is. Oh, he's a big boy. We need to, we need to... Okay, why can't I... Uh, oh, it's because of this, right. I was about to go, why can't I make him smaller? That's why. The internet, I love how it's like, the internet's gonna not work because you're looking for a fucking gif. <laughs> hey, Reese, how's it going? The internet's better, but right now it's it's fading in and out. It's managing. It's like I literally can't do anything else other than stream. And we're fine. Okay. Thank you very much, Bullet, for the 302 bits for uh, uh, to become the gym leader. And there we go. We got shiny blue shuckle. But we're finally going to open some cards. So like I was trying to say before. Um, so like I was trying to say before. Uh, Shining Fates is a subset. So it's not a major set that you can get like a booster box with so it's a it's a side set where like you can get these collection boxes or like tins and stuff with it is there a no there's no fancy way of opening this so uh what was available for me to get because boy howdy the the set just like sell out instantly um, was pin sets. So I got three pin sets and I got one collection. Um, I end up getting this, I end up getting two of these Mr. Rhyme pin sets because that's all that this store had. <laughs> um, so, but here we go. We got a Mr. Rhyme 
pin. I'm so now I got two of these technically. So maybe I'll give one away if someone wants one. Let me know. We get a promo holographic Mr. Rhyme. That's cool. It's got a little bit of a bend in it. That's what happens with hollow cards. And we get three packs plus a promo card. I like to keep promo cards. Um, I'm going to have to clean all that up later. <laughs> we got three packs. So I'm going to open up this one last. Uh, don't really know what the best that we can get in this set is because it's not really it. It's uh, they don't really know yet. Um, right now, it seems like it's probably going to be a shiny. It's probably going to be a. Uh, it'll probably be a shiny uh, Gigantamax um, Charizard, or, sorry, shiny Gigantamax Charizard V Max. So, who knows? Who knows? Ooh, we got a white card. I imagine probably every single pack will have a white card because there's so many shiny Pokemon that they have in this set. Um, is there? Okay, yeah. I just want to make sure. Is there uh, energy cards? Because otherwise, the internet's sort of working. It's working good enough. Hi, DJ. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Hope that you're good. How was work yesterday? All right, I'm gonna guess fire. Nope. All right, let's see. I don't even know. I don't really know many of the cards that are gonna be in here. Rusted sword. Okay, that's for bringing in him. Uh. Dartrix, very cool. Hey, it's a ball guy. Nice. I like ball guy. Spinarak, Buzzle, Rowlet, Trap Inch, Snome. We got a reverse hollow professor's research, and our card is a holographic thievel. All right, then. And you know, not amazing. I only have 13 of these packs, so <laughs> hopefully we get something better. <laughs> hopefully we get something. A lot better than that. Um, cause, cause like I said before, let's see, I'm just going to pull this up again. Um, there's only 72 regular cards in this set and there's 123 secret cards that are all like shinies, full arts, VMAX, all that sort of stuff. So from this pack, I, I see now that we're going to get a lot of the same fucking cards and that pulling shinies and stuff are going to be harder than normal. By the way, if you do choose uh, to... Reset the gym next week. That means I will always be undefeated. Hey, if that's what you want to do. I have to go walk the space dogs now because Sputnik's losing her little mind. I hope you get some good cards. I want to see the best of the best in the Discord for sure. And thank you for becoming Jigglypuff for me. No problem, ma'am. I hopefully will still be live if you get back. But if not, uh, then have a good rest of your day. And thank you for the resub again. That's awesome. Um, work was stupid bartending instead of doing what we love performing. Oh man. Yeah, that's not great for everybody. I imagine. Yeah, right now it's the whole performing space. I'm sure is still taking a hard hit. Um, I'm going to guess fire. Nope. Oh, we're doing a little bit of tip. I'm going to try not to keep talking about the internet. Just because, but hopefully, okay, we got ball guy. We got arrested sword. See, this is what I'm saying. We're going to get all the same cards. Uh, Eldegoss, Marpeko, Horsey, Spitterack, <laughs> Rowlet, Morpeko. Again, interesting. Multiple Morpekos. Oh, snap. Look at that. This isn't even our, our main card. This is our uh, our holographic card. Night, a shiny Scorch. That's awesome. I love it. So that's so yeah, so okay, what's our main card? A just a rare Vulcanian. I don't really care about that. This is what I care about. Shiny Scorch. That's cool. 
And the star down there for its rarity, uh, is that just shiny too? I love that. That's cool. That's super cool. I'm going to insta sleeve any of the shinies. Okay, cool. So shinies are probably going to be the second card. So we'll just have to see. I love that it's like, ooh, a shiny card. And then, oh, just a regular rare. Oh my God, I'm going to sneeze here in a second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no problem, but oh my god, I'm gonna ah, oh, I got a tickle in my nose. Ah, oh, jeez. You know when you get like a tickle in your nose and like it goes up into your eyeball? Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. All right, we got one more pack from this thing, and then we're gonna open. And then we're going to open something else. Basically, there's a chance of getting shiny Pokemon in everything that I'm opening today. Um, but don't tickle your eyeball. <laughs> I'm trying not to. I can't help. One, two, three. I'm going to say. Water. Nope. All right, we got just gym trainer. OK. Is both round and pointy. He is. He's got he's got pointy sharp areas, and then he's and then he's he's well he's also flat. That's the other thing. He's flat and round. I had send a scorch the entire time I played. Um uh because in my playthrough of Sword and Shield, I picked Sobble. Oh, the vol oh yeah, the Volcanion. Yeah, that's true too. Uh I picked Sobble. And so I needed a fire Pokemon, and I just love the look of Scorch. <laughs> so I was like, I'm just going to go with Scorch as my fire. Okay, we got Gym Trainer. We got Camerant. We got Thropi Thropius? 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 We got Buzzle. We got Nicket. Cacnea. We got Qfant. We got an EV. We have a Reverse Hollow Volcanion. All right, and our card is a Morpeko V. Very cool. Probably surprising, only worth like nothing, but it's cool. It's so cool. I'll 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 give it to them this generation. Morpeko, it, yeah, discount Pikachu. But I, but I will say probably my favorite of the discount Pikachu's. You know, like. Every single generation, there's a Pokemon that is like, this is the this is supposed to be like this generation's Pikachu. And it's like. OK, sure. More Peko is probably the best of that, because I love like that. It changes from like good mood to bad mood. It's a cool design, so, um, OK, so that's one of four Shining Fates. So what I'm gonna, then going to do is I have this box of Shining Legends. It's got five packs in it. I have eight packs of Hidden Fates. Um, so I'm going to open four of these. So what I'm going to do is we just did one Shining Fates. I'm going to do four Hidden Fates. Shining Fates, Shining Legends, Shining Fates, Hidden Fates, Shining Fates. If that made sense, sweet. If it didn't, no problem. Um, I don't know. Should we run a um, should we run a a prediction about if we're gonna pull a shiny Pokemon? I don't know. Hard to say. Hard to say if we should or not. All right. So the bet the best card in this set. Oh, we're dropping frames. Come on now. OK, 
Okay. Um, the best that we're probably going to pull in this set. Let's see. Hidden Fates. The hidden, the best card in this set is this Charizard, whoops. Charging whoop. battery. Oh, shut up, headphones. Is this Charizard GX, the shiny Charizard GX. That's the best card that we're going to pull, that we could possibly pull in this set. I only have eight packs, so I don't expect anything crazy, but we'll see. Um, okay. We got a, we got a white card, though. So, one, two, three. I'm going to say... Fighting. Nope. All right, let's see. We got Brock's Grit. We got a Scythe. We got a Jinx. We got a Slowpoke. We got a Magikarp. I really like that art of Magikarp. It's cool. We got a Pikachu looking at all the bubbles, having a bubble party. We got a Voltorb looking like it's inside the, like, like in some site, some sort of weird dimension. Uh, we got coughing. We got, ooh, a shiny Zorua. Nice. That's so cool. Oh, I love the art there. That's awesome. We got one more card, and it's Erica's Hospitality. Cool beans, dude. But this Zorua. Oh, uh, look. Oh, you see that shiny? You see that shiny? Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. I love it. I love the art. I do love that they're like, all right, so for all the shiny Pokemon, it's not going to be any like cool background. It's just going to be the shiny Pokemon sparkles and it's going to be super holographic. That's cool. That's super cool. Very round Pikachu, but not chonky. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's it's a uh, eh, it's not chonky, but it's it's cute. It's definitely not like ultra skinny Pikachu. So let's see what we get with these. Um, but yeah, in I think in Hidden Fates, there were a few. I don't know how many shiny Pokemon there were. But the best is going to be that Char. It's always Charizard. If there's a Charizard, the set is going to be ridiculous. All right, uh, I'm going to say grass. Nope. We got Misty's Determination. We got Scythe. We got Sabrina's Suggestion. I do like these like gym leader stuff. I really hope they eventually bring back gym leader like Pokemon. I always thought that was such a cool thing. Uh, we got Pikachu again. There's not many cards in this set either. Voltorb, Coughing. Oh, Cubone. Nice. I love Cubone. We got a reverse hollow Kangaskhan. And our main card is a Butterfree. Is a Butterfree. Oh, whoops. I'm just dividing up the cards based off of their set, just so I don't have to reorganize them later. Hey, not bad. Not terrible. How many cards are in this set? In Fates. There are 63 cards, or 68 cards, and 95 secret cards. So, again, gonna get a lot of the same cards again and again and again and again. But there's a lot of cool, uh, uh, you can't really see it too much. Charging battery. Stop talking to me, headphones. You can see there's a lot of shiny Pokemon in here. I do love that shiny Voltar, but I love that it's like instead of red, it's like this dark blue. That's really cool. So who knows? Who knows what we'll get? Uh, let's open up this next. 
Ver uh, bread costs money at din. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> bread costs money at dinner. Oh, wait, yeah, I'm reading this wrong. Bread costs money at dinner, although butter free. I definitely took longer on that than I meant to. All right. We got... Okay. I know why it's definitely doing this. Let's see. Can I run music? It just feels so empty without music. Okay. I can run music. All right. Uh, one, two, a tree. I'm going to say... Fire. Some these jokes will get me banned here. Eh, we'll see. We'll see. We got Magmar. We got Brock's Grit. Chansey. Oh, that's a cute Chansey. Really makes that egg look way more bulbous than it usually does. <laughs> Tending to the garden with their very short arms. Oh, look at that. Look at that squirtle. Like watering can. I want that for real. Cubone. Geodude. Very classic Geodude art. Jigglypuff, uh, Star U, Ekans, Ekans with like uh, Articuno just like in the background. And he's like, oh my God, that's Articuno. Fuck me. We got a reverse hollow uh, grass energy. I love reverse hollow energies. They're so cool. And a Lapras, a Lapras with a, with a beach ball. Julie Buff is forever ruined now. Yo, Cardi B should 100% do a collab with uh, <laughs> with Jigglypuff. <laughs> I'm gonna tweet at Cardi B later and be like, "Yo, Cardi B, you should 100% do a, a a collab with Jigglypuff." Yo, did anyone actually watch? By the way, did anyone watch the fucking uh, Post Malone virtual concert from? For, for yesterday's Pokemon Day stuff. He did a cover of I Want to Be Like You from Hootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> I need to listen to it, but I just thought it was so goddamn funny. Um, uh, fucking, I don't know. Uh, uh, it is dark and energy dark. Nope, that's fairy. All right, let's see. We got Lieutenant Surge's strategy. We got Koga's trap. We got Brock's grit. We got Clefairy. We got an Eevee. We got an Ekans fucking, oh my God. Okay. We got Paris. That's cute art. I like that. We got a Caterpie. We got a reverse hollow Koga's trap. And ooh, Mewtwo GX. Very nice. Very, very nice. And it's actually in really good. Uh, the borders are really nice too. Nice. That's awesome. How is what's what's this card? What's this card going for? What is this card? Why do we rarely see Jim Lyris from Non Canto? Because people don't remember them. <laughs> people go, "Oh, I rem I I remember I remember that." But I would love to have like a gym leader set that's like from other regions. Like I love the gym. Um, What's it called again? Uh, do do do. What's that? What's that set called? All right, I always forgot just the name. Uh, Gym Challenge and Gym Heroes. I love that set. It was so good. Exactly. Exactly. Bullet. Exactly. Um. Uh. Jeez. Hidden. I just want to see what this card. Hidden fates. This is a three dollar card. <laughs> I like it. It's cool. I love me too. Whitney. Now I need I need to look up Whitney now. I'm not going to show you what I'm looking up because. Probably some. Not safe for work stuff out there. Um. Oh, she's from Crystal. I the plane 
The plain badge. Right, she was in Goldenrod City. I remember her now. Yeah, I remember her now. Okay, so uh, that was four of the Hidden Fates packs. Not like the worst so far. I also don't have a lot of these cards anyways, so it's just nice to be getting them. Just nice to be to be getting them for my collection. She had a milk tank that literally rolled most of her timers over. Oh, OK, yeah, I haven't played. I, I have not touched. Well, actually, I haven't touched any like old Pokemon game in a long time. Um, gonna do dropping frames, you sons of bitches. No, we're fine. All right, I'm gonna do this Poltegeist pin set, which look at that pin, it's super cute. There was, there's one other pin set um, that I thought, I, okay, so what it was was I thought I had ordered it, and they said on, I then, when I got it, I was like, wait, I ordered the other set. It's a Denene. D, I never know how to pronounce it. D -d -d -n 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 -n. <laughs> it's the, it's like the off-brand Pikachu. Um, and they had a pin set that I thought, oh, I might as well just get one of each. And then I got it, and it was a second... Mr. Rhyme set. I was like, oh. Why did I get this and not this one? And I emailed them. They go, uh, sorry, we don't know why on a, on the thing it says. We don't know why. Bounce off my chair. That was funny. Um, why on online it says that it's a Dedene set. But if you look at your receipt or your invoice, it should say Mr. Rhyme. And it did, so. Whatever. Um, I need food, but what? Um, for brunch today, I made myself. Uh, I made myself some grilled cheese, and then for a lot for dinner tonight, we're having chicken pot pie. So that's what I have. If I could have anything right now, I'd probably have burritos. And some Taco Bell. We got a Poltegeist promo card, which looks cool. I love Poltegeist. Ooh, Italian. Nice. Need something smaller? I mean, Italian's going to be really filling. Cute little Poltegeist pin. Love it. Yep. Yeah, uh... Hmm. I'm not too sure what you could have, Bullet. Um, what about just like a, well, I don't know what you have. What about like a wrap or something like a sandwich? All right, let's see what we go. Sorry, a microwave thing. Yeah, those are pretty good, too. I would always before um, before when when I actually taught in person my classes, I would get uh, I would go to 7-Eleven and I'd buy a sandwich and their sandwich is pretty good. I also really like 7-Eleven's uh, taquitos. Those are delicious. So it's literally four minute drive. Hey, easy peasy lemon squeezy. One, two, three. I'm gonna say grass. That's not grass. We got a Tropius, Tropius, gym leader, Luxio. Look at that. Morpeko. I do love that this Morpeko, there's a shuckle in the background, there's a trum beak, and like, are they making food? Are they is it just eating? I don't know. Drop in a couple of frames here, so hopefully it's not too bad. We got a Chulet. We got an Eevee going for a swim. 
We got horsey just coming right at you with that thing. Just like, brr. Uh, we got Cacnea. Oh, oh, it's it's a reverse hollow Celebi. It's not a shiny Celebi. I would have lost my mind. Uh, it's a reverse hollow Celebi. Still awesome. I love it. And the <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there we go. There is. Also, I totally forgot to do anime lines <laughs> for <laughs> for some of the other cards. But there we go. We got the reverse hollow Celebi and the regular Celebi. So there you go. <laughs> I do love the I do love a lot of the like shiny versions of Pokemon. Some of them I think look way better. Some of them look weird. Are we going to sell a B weird draws? Unless I'm reading that incorrectly or don't understand, I'm confused. I get confused really easily. Oh, celebrate, but Celebi. <laughs> Are we going to celebrate weird draws? Yeah, well, well yeah, if we, if we do. I should have done it for these, like, here. I'll just do it really quickly. So we got... We we got a Mewtwo GX. Oh my god. We got a fucking a shiny Zorua. Look at it, baby. Morpeko V. Shiny Set of Scourge. Ooh. Um, I think that was, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Alright, we got this. I don't remember if I did one, two, three or not. I did not do one, two, or three. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm going to say uh, fire and water. All right, we got Eldegoss. We got Rusted Sword. Are we going to get the shield at some point? I've gotten three of these goddamn things. Uh, Dark Tricks, Nicket, Buzzle. A lot of the same fucking cards. Uh, Shinx, Coughing, Trap Inch. Trap Inch with like the gl glint in its eye of like, hmm, the moon. Is it weird that I find Mr. Mime weird, but Mr. Rhyme okay? I agree. I 100% agree. We got a reverse hollow Yan Mega and, no, that was a bad reveal, uh, Manamphi. Pulls today are not great. Pulls today are not super which I'm a little bothered by because every single one of these, every single one of these packs comes with a, a white online card, which typically means you're going to get a hollow as your main card. And right now it's lying. <laughs> so just saying, just saying, just saying, just saying. No, I agree though. Mr. Rhyme is like, I think it's cause it's just like a much goofier design. Like, like you'll look at him and it's just, he's much more, more cartoony than like, I also, I also kind of like the Galarian Mr. Mime. Like, cause it's a bit more, might be tab dancer versus mime. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, he's got a hat. He's got a mustache. He's got a cane. It's weird that his stomach is a face, but you know. One, two, three. Charlie Chapman, yeah. Yeah, it does. Um, well, it's because the sword and shield, the area that sword and shield is, is based off of like England. So that's where I would love if I, I, lo I would love if I could get like a, a Galarian coughing. Cause I just love that it's like a smokestack and it's got like a top hat and everything. Love it. Uh, I'm going to go fire hiding. We got dart tricks again. We got Luxio again. Uh, team yell towel. <laughs> what is it? Okay. What does this do? Heal 50 damage from both active Pokemon. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm just like, what kind of card is that? Bullshit. We got Nicket, Cacnea, 
Qfant, it's cute. EV, Buzzle, uh, Reverse Hollow, Coughing. Oh, we're dropping frames. So I'm gonna wait to see if it picks back up before we reveal our main card. All right. <clears throat> Reverse Hall Coughing in our main card is Boss's Orders. Not even holographic. That's fine. That's fine. Not like I only have seven more packs of this. <laughs> this might be a short stream. <laughs> uh, we're an hour and a bit in. We'll give it a pause when we hit like the halfway point, which we're close to. Um, we're close to, uh, next picks up, drops frames and uses Gorilla Koo on them. I really wish that would be as the easiest way to do it. The so next I got this Sororak GX from Shining Legends. Um, oh geez, look at <laughs> Shuckle in this, in this side. He's so big. Why is he that big? That's fine. I just shuckle that big. <laughs> um, yeah, so probably the best card in this set is shiny. Is it shiny Rayquaza. I lost my phone. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I lost my phone. Where is it? Where are you? Let's take a look. It's in a book reading rainbow. Um, I saw a great meme the other day, which I need. I, I don't know why I didn't save it. Maybe hopefully I can find it again sometime soon. It, it was a cartoon of like two people talking and uh, the guys and the woman says, I'm breaking up with you. And the guy says, is it because after is because I say, uh oh, SpaghettiOs every time something bad happens. <laughs> and she says, yes. And then he says, under, it says, under his breath, uh oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> and I, I could not help but love it so much. Uh, okay, so the best card that's in this set is Mewtwo GX. Oh. Pick up those frames. Come on, Internet, pick them up. Pick up those frames. Come on, you you can do this. You can do this, frames. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you, frames. Okay, seems like we're good. Is, okay, so we got Mewtwo GX. We got Mewtwo GX. Rainbow. Interesting that the full art is more than the rainbow. But. And then we got Shining Mew and Shining Rayquaza. And then we got Raichu GX, Shining Jirachi, Shining Ar Arceus, Shining Volcanion, Shining Genesect, Genesect. Genesec, Genesec, whatever. So, I only got five packs though in this in this uh, box set. So, I gotta remember I have my stream deck now, so I can just easily switch things over. Oh, you didn't even see me throw that here. There we go. What a mess. Someone's gonna need to clean this up. Okay, so let's show off. Eh. Eh. Eh.
Come on. Get out of the packaging. Come on. <laughs> Get out. Got it. I got it. No one's gonna need to clean all this up. Sorry for the frame drops, everybody. I really wish I could fix it. I don't know what's, I don't know why it's so utterly horrible. But we're making do, we're trudging through. I'm trying to be positive. It's like riding a roller coaster of just shit. I volunteer Alex to head, the, head that way to clean up. <laughs> no, I'll clean it all up. I don't understand why it's like 1.2, 300, why, like, like it's like 1200, 300, 500, 200, 1600. 400 like I don't understand what is happening I'm just gonna wait till it hopefully stays Consistent enough I'm currently running at let's see what what am I running at Streamers will understand this I'm currently running at 750 kilobits as my bitrate. And it's just not good enough. Uh, okay. Let's see. So from this collection, get a couple of promo cards. First things is full art cards, which like I have a collection of full art card or like, or sorry, jumbo cards as they're called. They're okay. I, I just don't understand what the point of them is. I don't, think that you can use them in actual TCG matches. So like, what's the point of these? I'm gonna try something. No, it says it's output scale to 720p, but like, I don't get it. It says I'm doing like, a. 1400 and then it's still dropping frames. I don't know. I'm sorry guys. I'm trying to get through this. Sorry All right, so yeah, I, I just don't understand the point of these like These jumbo cards. They're cool I have a collection of them and like they're kind of like some of them are worth like a little bit of money But like they're nothing crazy. So they're cool. They're cool I just don't know what to do with them because I don't have a I don't know where I put them to like Protect them. I just have them all together in like a little Thingy. Um, and then we get a uh, a holographic Zarua and the same thing as the 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 jumbo card. We got a Zorak GX promo full art card, which is cool. Which is cool. All right, but we got five five packs with this. We're looking for Mew, Mewtwo, Rayquaza. We're looking for any shinies plus 
Mewtwo GX. So let's see what we got. Hope everybody's doing well and uh, enjoying as much as they can <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the stream. Thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for lurking. I greatly appreciate it. I'm gonna try. I'm 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 desperately going to try to stream weekly. Still, I just need to figure out the optimal time or need to figure out how to fix this internet issue. But. I might just I might just have to lower my bitrate again. I've already lowered it like twice. I just really don't want the stream to be unwatchable because then it's sort of like what's the point of trying to make it the I'm trying to do the best I can with what I got, so I just lowered it to six hundred. So hopefully that's good enough. Um I'm gonna guess fire. Nope, psychic. So yeah, so we're looking for Mewtwo GX or shiny versions of Rayquaza, Cele or Mew, all that stuff. All right, we got Lipard. We got that's an angry ass for, for alligator. Jeez, we got a Warp Energy. It provides color assigning energy when you attach this card from your hand to an active Pokemon. Switch that Pokemon with one of your bench. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Breloom, Voltorb. A Golet, a Bulbasaur, really cute Bulbasaur boy. Uh, a Scun, a, how do you say Scun? It's Stun. Stunfisk, a Reverse Hollow Pokemon Breeder. That's cool. And Full Art Pokemon Breeder. That's awesome. It's, I, it's so weird when you get like both versions of the card in one pack. Boom! Pokemon Breeder! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> we'll give it some anime lines there for, for a bit. Let's take a look what Pokemon Breeder is. I know the odds of getting the same card in both things. Uh, it's a $12 card. That's cool. I, I love these versions. I love these like the full art cards. They're always so cool looking. And like super shiny and like you can see all the lines and so you probably can't see all the lines and stuff because it's probably not in high, high enough definition to do that. But it's just so cool getting like both cards. Yeah, like we opened that one pack and we got Reverse Hollow and Regular Celebi, which is funny. Uh, all right, we got this has a Genesect on the front. Genesect, not Jin. Jin, Jen, not Jin. Sorry, Jen. <laughs> Sorry, Jen. Yo, have you met Jen? She's super hot. One, two, three. Let's go with. A water. There's the fire. All right, we got an electrode who is really fucking happy. He just, he just he just he just told a joke and is waiting for everybody to laugh. <laughs> is what he is. We got a floatzel. We got a scraffy. We got a shroomish. This is kind of cool because I also don't have really any of card any of these this set, so it's kind of cool because these are a lot of cards I've never seen before. We got a J that is this is nightmare fuel. This is nightmare fuel. I don't care what anyone says. This is legit nightmare fuel jinx. Look at that. That's that I don't want this in my life. Get it away from me. Stop it. Please. For the love of God, go away. <laughs> we got a Minium. Again. Off-brand. Off-brand Pikachus. We got a Torkoal. We got a Reverse Hollow Pokemon Catcher. And uh, a Holo... Is it Holographic? Yep. Yeah, holographic uh, Vervisian. Verizon. Verizon. You can kind of see the holographic a little bit. But that's cool. These I remember these guys being legendary Pokemon. I'm trying to remember. There was this one. There was that one. There is the ground one. And then there's like the ice one or something. I don't really know too much. That was what? X 
Y. It's kind of like that's the XY's version of Entei, Suicune, and Raikou. Like one looks like a bull, like that one looks like kind of like a deer. And like the other one looks like an Impala or whatever. Still pretty cool. We have three more packs of Shining Legends. One, two, three. I'm gonna say electric. Nope, fairy. All right, let's see. We got Lily. We got an Ultra Ball. We got an angry. Th this Venusaur probably got the wrong order and is now wanting to see this. This Venusaur looks like a Karen. Just like got the wrong order, is mad and is just yelling. I did not want pickles. Um, we got Golet again. We got Ekans. We got Breloom. We got a Stun Fisk, a Minium, a Reverse Hollow Menamphi, cool, and Hoopa, a Holographic Hoopa. There's some Pokemon I just don't understand. Hoopa is one of them. I've seen I've seen a lot of Hoopa cards, and I just don't get what it is. But that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. All right, come on. We gotta get. We got it. I should have been running. Uh, should have been running uh, predictions. I guess we could do one right now. Oh wait, no. I gotta open up the internet. Nope, can't do that. If I could do them on my phone, I wonder. I wonder if I can do them on my phone. Let me just see. Oh, wait, dang it. That means I'd have to. That means I have to log into my account on my phone, and I don't really want to do that right now. I'm a little lazy. <laughs> it's okay. Don't need any more uh, issues with the stream right now. Oh, maybe we'll try that next time. One, two, three. I'm kind of not trying to just have a chill time, enjoy myself, enjoy my time talking to you folks. Um,. Let's go with steel. Nope, oh, water, just classic water. All right, let's see. We got a Carnivine. We got an Ultra Ball. We got a Damage Mover. Move three damage counters from one of your Pokemon to another of your Pokemon. Nice. Minium, again. We got a Buzzle. A Scraggy. Voltorb. Ekans. Well, Ekans always looks, he's just like nervous or like about to take a shit or just like like just shocked at the world for everything we got a reverse hollow breloom i see we're dropping a couple of frames here so let's just see if it stays okay cool reverse hollow breloom and uh zorak gx so now i have all of the zorak g <laughs> all the zorak cards <laughs> It's probably like a dollar. It's probably worth like a dollar. It's two dollars. It's not bad. There's not really any cards in this set that are like worth anything except for like there's the only two dollar card. Three dollars, four, seven, eleven, twelve, like. Goes up from there. That's cool. Zorak's one of those Pokemon that like people are like super behind, like are like, yeah, and then it's like, eh, cool. I didn't I, I, I miss that like love. <laughs> I miss the love for that for that Pokemon. All right, we got last Shining Legends pack. Last Shining Legends pack before we go back to hidden or not hidden fades. Sorry, shiny fades. Last Shining Legends. One, two, three. 
I'm just gonna do this really quickly. Make the image a bit brighter for y'all. Um, uh, did I do the one, two, three? Yeah, I did. Okay. I already kind of saw it. it's it's fire. <laughs> if I don't remember, then I'm like, oh, whoops. Don't get to guess. All right, we got uh, Karen Viasaur. We got Incineroar uh, 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 doing like a hip thrust fire tornado out of his crotch. Uh, we got Pokemon Catcher. We got Breloom. We got Voltorb looking at the sign being uh, jealous. I don't know. <laughs> we got a Golet lifting a rock. We got Bulbasaur being like, feed me, bitch. We got uh, Stunfisk doing some. We got a reverse hollow Purloin. And we got a holographic Menamphy. We have every single version of Menamphy now. <laughs> we got every single version of Menamphy. <laughs> I, I, I do like the hollow on that. It's it's cute, but <laughs> we got all the versions of that holographic. All right. Didn't pull any crazy cards with Shining Legends, but. Well, I mean, I, uh, the best cards were obviously the Zorak GX, but then uh, like I like both ho reverse hollow and hollow. Uh, the best card, I guess, was Pokemon Breeder, which is cool. Love seeing those full art cards. I do love this art style, too with this it's like that like that pikachu card that we pulled from that japanese pack it's this like really cool like line art style and i love it and then of course we have the promo versions of Zor Zo zoro arc so zora arc or whatever all right we're about halfway through at least with the cards and i guess the stream technically it's been an hour and a half so far Thank y'all for for hanging out today so far. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to start doing earlier streams because that's when the Internet's at its best, even though we're still experiencing issues. Just going to have to figure out what to do about it. I don't know. It's tricky. And I don't like continually talking about it because it just sounds like complaining and I don't like I don't like doing that. It's just like. Hard to ignore it. <clears throat> but uh. Yeah, okay, so we got two more, we got two more boxes. Of Shining Fates, we got this pin set box with three packs. Then I got this, this box set with the Pikachu V, which is cool. And then I got four more packs of Hidden Fates. Um, what was I going to say? Um, so, uh, I also like to use these streams to be able to talk to you all and see how things are going, see how people's days are and catch up and whatnot. Um, what was I going to say? I'm looking to, to watch a new, I'm looking to watch a new TV show. So me and my dad recently, um, went through... Let's see. We watched all of the trailer park boys. Um, we're, I guess we could probably go back to start watching. We never finished, uh, Brooklyn nine, nine, where I think we're in like the fifth season of watching it on Netflix. Um, we occasionally watch. I'm really sad that I know that it's not continuing. I uh, uh, the Lethal Weapon TV show that like was around the past couple of years. Um, it was really good. I, I'm enjoying it. It's really really thrilling. But I guess so. Um, yeah, they made Lethal Weapon TV show. The problem is, uh, I'm trying. I think it's Damian Wayne's. I think it's Damian Wayne's. Or it's one of the Wayans brothers plays or played because it's not. It got canceled after three seasons. Um,
Yeah, it's Damian Wayans. Damian Wayans plays Murtaugh, and then I don't know the guy who played who played Riggs. He was really good though, but apparently he apparently he uh, it was really difficult to work with as an actor, and he made people feel uncomfortable on set. So uh, so they fired him. <laughs> um, and apparently that happens after season two, and then they're like, okay, I think it's pr pr I. My best guess is that they my best guess is that they were they had a contract for three seasons. Focuses, I should probably. Fix trying to fix the focus on the camera. Um, my guess is that they had a contract for three seasons. So like, oh, shit, we fired the guy who plays Riggs. <laughs> What do we do now for the next season? And so then they, I, we haven't gotten to the third season yet. So A, I don't know how Riggs, spoilers for Lethal Weapon, the TV show. I It's a great like TV crime drama show. It's got a lot of comedy too. Um, it's like the movies. It's like, if you like the Lethal Weapons movies, you'll probably enjoy the TV show. Um, but they, uh, they kill off Riggs after the second season and then they bring in uh, I think it was I read it. It was Sean William Scott to play someone. I don't know who he plays. I don't know what's gonna happen But it was an enjoyable show and so I'm just like oh shit it doesn't continue. Oh, well, okay. We'll see what happens um, Currently watching WandaVision haven't watched this week's episode, please no spoilers Even though I don't really know what other spoilers. I know I've I know the whole storyline of House of M so I don't really know what spoilers there could be. I was genuinely surprised about what's going on, what happened in the last episode. So I'm really excited to watch the this past week's episode tonight. Um, I've been thinking about what, starting Cobra Kai, and I want to know if people recommend Cobra Kai because because it seems like it's really really cool. And people are people are really really all about Cobra Kai. So I've heard nothing but good things. <clears throat> before um before the internet was such an issue i was actually gonna like announce or say on stream can't wait for next week's wandavision to type this series i i genuinely thought that they were gonna that it was only gonna be eight episodes so i'm excited that there's like another episode or two i don't know I, d I didn't look into say see how many episodes they said there is um so we're gonna watch the latest one tonight there's nine okay so i'm i'm really excited because it's cool it's it, it they did a really good job i'm excited for i like the wackiness and the comedy of this of the series um i'm excited for i'm i'm genuinely excited for uh Falcon and Winter Soldier to be kind of like it's going to have that Marvel comedy, which is great, but I love that it's going to have it's going to be more like action focused like like I don't know how to describe it I guess more action focused like it's going to focus on them like trying to figure out who's going to be the next Captain America and fighting a bad guy and all this stuff going to be much more what we're used to with marvel so i'm i'm excited about that wandavision was a great change from that so love the trailer for loki that's awesome yeah it's a good time to be a <laughs> be a fan of of uh of nerd culture because there's a lot of it But, oh, uh, what I was going to say was I before we were starting to have troubles with the Internet, when the Internet was nice, I was I was actually going to like mention to people that. Uh, I'm going to I want to try to stream like a second day a week and doing like gaming, it would be like light gaming and be a single player stuff because I definitely can't stream and. Play online with people. 
I don't know what it would be yet. So, but now with that we're having, now that we're having frame drop issues with the internet speeds, I don't know if it would handle a game input as well. So I'm, I'm going to, maybe I'll try it out at least once and we'll see what happens. Right now I'm in the middle of playing Assassin's Creed or, uh, Odyssey. I want to try to finish that so I can play, um, play Valhalla. Um, and I'm also still playing Control and I love it. <laughs> so good. I'm looking forward to most of their TV series coming up. Bad Batch looks good. Bad Batch does look good. Just curious about Mighty Ducks. Oh yeah, Mighty Ducks. Yeah, Mighty, I, yeah, Mighty Ducks. I forgot that they're bringing back Mighty Ducks. Yeah, and what if will be interesting. I, I'm excited to see what the... Have they released anything about what like the cartoon, like the, the animation style is going to look like? The animation style is really what like either gets me super into a series or completely throws me off of a series. Just the trailer? Okay, I should probably check the trailer out. I'm not going to watch it now because the internet will eat its own ass. <laughs> but I'll watch it after. Uh, solo games are games. Heck, even phone games are still games. So game what you can. I'm sure I'll be happy to join stream whatever you choose to play. Hopefully we'll try to do something. Maybe do another Nuzlocke. I don't know. Something that's like doesn't use the internet at all is good. We'll see. Maybe some indie, maybe like an indie game or something. Could do shiny. I don't really want to do shiny hunting and sword and shield. Ugh. Oh, fun. Assy. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. How are you doing? Welcome on in. We're about halfway through our pack openings and I'm just uh, I'm just sitting here chatting with people. Yeah, indie games would be cool because it's like nice and short. It's not like 80 hours into a game. It's like play it for a couple of hours. As a game dev student, I vote <laughs> indie games. If you have suggestions, then lazy, let me know because I'm always down to play something new and interesting. Like I heard for a long time, people were super interested in control and that's why I finally picked it up and it was on sale. And now I'm like, if you haven't played control, play control. It's so fun. It's so, so fun. I can understand why certain people probably wouldn't like it, but it's got great shooting mechanics. The combat system is the combat system is awesome. I love the RPG elements of it and the story is just super cool, but it's very it's very David Lynchian. Um, in that, like the story is very weird. It's all about like like it's like action horror thriller sort of thing, but it's not scary. There are just like there are like moments where it gets tense. But that's fun. Um, the bad guys are really cool. Um, I, but like, there's two ways you can go about it. You can just play it and it'll be a fun game. Or you can like read every single piece of writing and video and stuff and get super deep into the lore because it's super lore heavy and it's great. I love it. How are you doing, Nikki? What have you been up to this weekend? Hope that you're doing well. Might as well show off what we've gotten so far. Just gonna show off the good cards. Uh, rever or holographic Manphy, uh, reverse solo Poirloin, Zoa Arc GX, reverse solo Breloom, reverse solo Manphy, holographic Hoopa, reverse solo Pokemon Catcher, uh, Verizon, full art. Pokemon breeder, which is really cool. And then and then the reverse holo Pokemon breeder <laughs> uh, promo cards for the box that we opened. Coughing Yan Mega Celebi promo Poltegeist Koga Strap Mewtwo GX, which is cool. Um, reverse holo uh, shiny Zorua, which is great. I love it. It's super cute. Uh, Morpeko V. Uh, shiny Send a Scorch, which is probably the other really, really cool one. But yeah, I highly suggest 
and troll. It's really fun. I'm trying to finish Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I have spent like 120 hours in that game and I need to finish it because I want to play Valhalla <laughs> and I need to do it soon. Although I'm really enjoying like the problem is like there's so many elements in it that like really cater to me as like a as a as a gamer where it's like collect all the things <laughs> do all the side quests and there's a goddamn lot of them. All right, we're going to open. We got three more things to open. We got this collection of shiny fates. We got a couple of packs of hidden fates. And then we got one more collection. Bo uh, collection box of. Of the shinies. I want shiny Pokemans. Give me. The shines. I'm telling you, someone's going to need to clean all this up. Is it going to be me? Probably. Another Mr. Rhyme pin. So I got two of these because I accidentally ordered two Mr. Rhyme boxes. So if someone genuinely wants one of these, I will send it to them. I don't care. Okay, I'll send I'll send it to you if you really want a Mr. Rhyme pin. <laughs> I won't have alchemy clean for me. I'll clean it up. Fine. Unless she really wants to, then. I'm down and out with a bum knee, so I've just been home this weekend. Aw, hopefully, hopefully. Sorry, walked away to get lunch. No, it's totally okay. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry to hear about your knee. I hope it heals up soon. Uh, promo, Mr. Rhyme. There's going to be a fucking lot of these in the out in the Pokemon sphere because because uh, so, so many people like all these all these promo or all these box sets are all all these other like all these box sets all got bought up super fast so all the promo cards are going to be worthless. Send to me with my other shit. I never got. Oh, yeah, I meant to send you. I should send that. I should send that off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get. We're looking for shiny. We're just looking for shiny. Honestly, we're just looking for shiny. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm not faced. <laughs> um, lightning. Nope. Just water. We got a ball guy. Search your deck for up to three different item cards that have the word ball in their name. Reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. So you just, he just retrieves balls. <laughs> you, you just get balls. <laughs> I assume it's like, oh, yeah, you can get ultra balls like those cards. So we got a Camerant. We got a Thwacky. We got a Morpeko. We got a Coughing. We got a Glossifer. We got a Rowlet. We got a Q-Fant. Ooh, cool. A Reverse Hollow Rodham. You can get balls in your hand for that card. <laughs> And he lets you get lets you get some balls into your hand. Reverse hollow, Rodham, and our main card is. Hey, I was talking about Glarian Weezing. I love Glarian Weezing. Very cool. Glarian We holographic Glarian Weezing. Awesome. Love it. A, a ball guy with his man spread on. Imagine that. <laughs> I I just really want the full art version of ball guy. Like, look at him. <laughs> I just I just want I just want that because he's just so 
goofy. <laughs> a lot of people hated Ball Guy in the game. I love Ball Guy. Ball Guy is sweet. He's so stupid. <laughs> okay. As a bald guy, it's very easy for imagine that. <laughs> Just need face paint. Hey, yeah, you can do ball guy cosplay. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say it's dark. Yeah, look at that. Probably means nothing. Um, we got a dark tricks. Oh, there we go. We got shield finally. Rusted shield. Pausing for frame drops. We got ball guy. There's not a lot of cards in this set. It's all just the shiny stuff. I figured that with how, with how many shinies they put into this set, you'd be getting them way more often. This is kind of disappointing. That there's going to be so many of these regular common cards. Uh, I understand they're like, it's secret, it's special. It's like, it means a lot when you get one. It's like, yeah, but for collecting, it's the worst. If the if the cards weren't if the packs weren't so inflated in price right now, I wouldn't mind too much. But because they are, because everybody's fucking buying these things up and the prices are inflating like three hundred percent, I don't give it. I don't care. We got Butzil, Butzil, whatever, Yanma, Trapinch, Reverse Hollow Floatzel, and. That is the fourth Manthe. I don't want fucking Manthe. Give me. Manthe, you can suck my ball guy. Manthe can suck a suck a fat ball guy. One, two, three. I, I didn't even say what I wanted it to be. <laughs> I didn't even say what I wanted it to be. All right, Rodham. Floatzel. Rusted Sword. Yanma. We got a Coughing. We got a Morpeko. We got a Horsey. We got a Spinarak. We got a Reverse Hollow Shinx. And a Holographic Decidueye. I would be much more happy about this, but my God, are, are the chances of getting any of the... Fucking other cards in this set, impossible. <sighs> we have four packs left in... in this. But we'll get to those in a second. You have coughing? <laughs> Are you coughing? Sir. Blah! It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. We're okay. We're good. I'm going to take a drink here and I'm going to answer Lazy's question in a second. <sighs> Just, <laughs> I'm, it's more like internally, I'm like, we've had so many internet issues today and you can't even fucking give me awesome pulls why god why <laughs> come on give me good pulls why can't it be like that darkness ablaze box where it was just like pull after pull after pull a girl in the gym coughed today that wasn't stressful nope yeah <laughs> i can imagine that um how do you feel about the upcoming pokemon legend arceus game i'm excited for what it could be like it was funny during that whole Pokemon Day thing. They didn't even. It's funny that whole. Po, the, well, not not the Pokemon Day thing, but the the Pokemon Presents. They didn't even talk about that other Pokemon game that they've been working on. That they announced like forever ago. Like, what what was that game? It was the the. It was like the the the. Did that ever come out or is it even still being made that um MOBA game?
Pokemon Unite? Like, did that ever come out? Because they didn't even they didn't even talk about that during the during the stream. And then I saw something about it like yesterday. I was like, oh, yeah, they haven't even mentioned. They haven't even mentioned that. I haven't heard anything about Pokemon Unite. I'm just reading an article right now, trying to see if there's a release date. Hey, Unceptium, how's it going? Welcome on in. We're dealing with internet issues, but they're not as bad as yesterday, so we're making do right now. But how are you doing? I hope that you're well. And yeah, earlier, I, I figured doing an earlier stream because it'd probably be, the internet would probably be better. It kind of is so we'll see but we're good so far we're good so far we're good so far you know it's early to have feelings because we know so little and the trailer was obviously from a version still being worked on yeah it was but like it's cool like here's the thing pokemon unless it's like a specific genre of a game it's gonna be pokemon catching stuff battling that's it. <laughs> but it's cool that's like a different approach and maybe there's going to be more of a story. Good so far, except for Marty's poopy pills. Yeah, poopy pills. <laughs> poopy pills. Poopy pulls. Yeah, there, we have the pulls have been great today. Um, but. Um. There's so many pe reasons people can sneeze or cough or anything. Cold sweat allergies. Yeah, I know. It's just sort of that thing where it's like it puts you on edge when someone coughs in public right now. It just puts you on edge. Everybody and and everybody takes a second to turn and be like, huh? <laughs> and, <laughs> and then you're like, OK, no, we're it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I have my nose clogged and I sneeze a lot because my bridge is deformed. Oh, really? Oh, crazy. My my I, my allergies are just so bad. My breathing's not great. So I I always like. I'm always wheezing. I'm always trying to catch my breath. My nose is always like. Clogged, so that's just how I just how I, how I roll. That's how I roll. Pokemon is Pokemon for sure, but I got excited over a new game and then a remake of that makes sense. Yeah, no, for sure. It's just like, ooh, new thing. It's because the possibilities are, you know. Who knows what the possibilities are with Pokemon Legends? But. Yeah, I'll probably end up playing the remake of. Uh, Diamond and Pearl, because I never played Diamond and Pearl. When it first came out. It's cool that they're doing it. I was kind of expecting uh, I was kind of expecting like a let's go version of uh, Gen 2. Like I thought I thought that they were going to do like. Uh, I don't uh, like let's go Togepi, maybe. I don't know what the other Pokemon would have been because it was Pikachu and Eevee. So maybe they would name the Gen 2 version after like a Pokemon that came out in Gen 2, like. Like Togepi. So I thought they were going to do Gen 2 Pokemon Let's Go. But it's cool that they're working on a new thing and it's like free roaming. Sort of game. I hope they back off the Let's Go Pokemon Go style. Uh the style is kind of weird and like the catching mechanic was sort of like, you know, it was very much to reintroduce people into Pokemon um, on like the main platform on like the on the main platform, because before it was only on the handhelds. And so if you never had a handheld, then you then. Yeah, but I, I but in terms of like the gameplay and stuff, I really liked 
let's go. Like I know, and I know there's a lot of people that didn't really like. I really liked it in terms of like it. It was it was literally just the first generation of games, but I liked just the gameplay itself and like I don't know, it was fun. I liked seeing the po. I I I it generally was a breath of fresh air. Like, oh shit, you can see the Pokemon instead of like a wild encounter. You can see the Pokemon, and then in Sword and Shield, that was nice too. Um, so I like the art style for the new Diamond and Pearl. I don't know which one I'll get because I don't know what the differences are. Like that's the thing is it, it then you then get to the point of like. I know that there's certain things about each game that matters, but at the same time, does it really matter? Is there a big difference? I mean, other than the legendaries, I guess, but. The only Pokemon games I own are Sapphire and Moon. I played Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3 very like when it first came out, but I don't remember anything about it. Didn't play Diamond Pearl. I played black and white. I played black and white. Um, then I fell off after that. X and Y didn't really grab me, and I don't. I don't think I even played it. Um, I didn't play black and white two. Um, I never beat Sun and Moon. I got maybe halfway through. I think. Um, I don't really know. Uh, and then I beat Sword and Shield. I haven't played the DLC for Sword and Shield, though, because I was kind of I was kind of not into the game after that. It was the battle system I didn't like. Yeah, no, I I, I understand that. I can understand that in the catch. I, I can understand how people like. Didn't don't really like. Well, Pokemon Go, like the only reason I like Pokemon Go is collecting. Like, it's the same reason why I like Pokemon cards is it's collecting. Like, it's all about it's all about collecting Pokemon, and I and I like that. Like, I do like that they introduced like obviously there was like the gym battles, and then they introduced like the actual player battles that you could do. But I mean, it's just you're sitting there tapping. It's just it's just tapping as fast as you can. There's a little bit of like kind of figuring out who you need to pick, but at the end of the day, it is pretty much just pick your best three Pokemon. Like your three best highest ranked combat point Pokemon and then just tap. <laughs> so not super in, like deep and intricate, but. Wait, what? I only played Pearl as a kid. You never played. <laughs> I only played Pearl as a kid and I missed fucking Aragon because of it. Di oh, Diamond has that. Oh, okay. Okay, now I'm pissed off. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't know what the difference is between. So wait, what's in, what's in, what's in Pearl that's like the opposite of Agron? Yeah, I mean, like, I don't really I never really minded too much the idea of like exclusives per game because it made the game that you bought like more interesting. But now it's kind of like, I don't know, in this day and age, it kind of feels kind of unnecessary. It's weird. It was cool when the games first came out. I will say that. Although now it's um, I'll kind of backtrack on that. Actually, now it's a lot easier to be able to trade. So that's kind of OK. Seal, Dugon, Scyther, Murkrow, Scizor, Lavatar, Pupitar, Tyranitar, Puchiana, Mayana, Aaron, Larion, 
Agron. Damn. Those are all awesome Pokemon. I'd rather get Diamond. <laughs> I have to see what Pearl has. Kletion, Grandiose, Rampardos. Some of those I don't even know what they are. Honchkrow, Skunky, Skunk Tank, Dalga. Dialga. Today it's a lot easier to trade as you have online trading, so, and you have social platforms, yeah. Exactly. So it is a lot easier to now be able to trade and and thus like, oh, yeah, no, there's exclusive Pokemon, but you just need to find people to trade with, I guess, instead of being a kid and having literally no one to trade with. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I'll never get these Pokemon. Slowpoke, Slowbro, Slowking, Pinsir, Mistrevious. Condor, Houndoom, Stantler, Sfeel, Celio, Walren, Bagon, Shelgon, Salamence, Shelion, Bastion, Miss Magius, Glamia, Progly, po yeah, no, Diamond is so much better. Uh, Salamence is okay. I'm not, I'm not big on Salamence. I would so much rather, ha rather have Tyrantar and Agron, but. <laughs> I love Seth being mad. Pisses me the fuck off. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's get back to we got um let's see. Yeah, there's a couple of frame drops, but we're okay. We got eight more packs to open. We got four hidden fates. And then we got four shiny fates. Shining fates in this Pikachu V box set so let's see what we get what will we get i don't know maybe a shiny slow bro no no thank you <laughs> one two three fairy Get over there. Get over here. Let us uh, see. Charmeleon. War Tortle. No. Nope. Aw, oh, gross, Jinx. Jinx, stop. Stop looking at me, Jinx. Graveler. Geodude. Oh, cool. Are we going to get a golem? <laughs> Jigglypuff. Sorry, you. Uh, this Ekans, I swear to God. <laughs> this fucking Ekans just super like, oh my God, it's fire. It's a heart of Kudo. Uh, Eevee, uh, reverse hollow Geodude, and Misty's water command holographic. <laughs> <laughs> That's my reaction is it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Internet, stop being a bitch. Instead of Pokemon like Tyranitar, at least it had Stantler. <laughs> Sailor was one of those Pokemon from Gen 2 that I was like. Okay. It's a deer. I get it. It's a deer. You know, it's fine. Pseudo Widow's a tree. <laughs> so. I was seeing if the, if the internet's working. Cool. I'm going to guess. Fire. Some people might. Some it might he might be a favorite to some people. Brock's Pewter City Gym, Koga's Trap, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, <laughs> fucking Stantler, uh, Caterpie, Paras, Terminator, Clefairy. What is Clefairy doing? Is it like ma casting a magic spell or something? Uh, slow poke. A reverse hollow Charmander and Blaine's last stand, not even hollow. Two packs. 
two packs in the hope that we get something. Yeah. And and what's really shitty is I have all those trainer cards before. I don't have me very many pack many, blah, blah. I don't have very many cards from this set, but I have like all the trainer cards. <laughs> oh, there's a hint of something that's in there. I saw a little bit of shine. Three. I'm gonna say grass. Nope. Giovanni's Exile. Rock's Grit. Megamar. Magikarp. Pikachu. Boltorb. Coughing. Uh, Cubone. Oh shit! Gonna hit the fucking anime lines, baby! Love it! And then our reveal card. Gyarados GX! Oh, okay. This is a good pack. Good pack. I'm enjoying this pack. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Yo, this shiny, this shiny Voltorb. Oh, I love it. Ah, oh, dude, shiny Voltorb is awesome. I love it. I was complimenting this card before. I was like, I just love the color. Like, the dark blue is so cool. Um, how much is... Gyarados GX is probably not worth anything, but... Uh, let's see. Girados. Girados. It's a $2 card. Oh, oh, hey, if we get a reverse hollow Pikachu Electrode or Vaporeon, those are those are those are $2 cards. Yeah, basically all the GX cards are $2 except for Mewtwo. A reverse hollow Butterfree is $3. Interesting. Giovanni's Exile. Tag Team GX Charizard Tag Team Full Art Jesse and I would love to have this card. This Jesse and James card would be cool to have. Uh, uh yeah. That's for that's like the regular hidden fates like price cards and then there's the shinies which is a separate separate thing. We got one more pack of hidden fates. Let's see what we got. I'm just going to bag up these two. I do like, I mean, I mean, here's the thing. It's a $2 card. Sure. But it's a cool looking card. Love Gyarados. But shiny Voltorb is awesome. Shiny Voltorb is awesome. I love it. One more pack. Will we get a shiny? Will we get shiny Charizard? Look at him. Look at this boy on the cover. Look at this boy on the cover. We want him. We want him. <laughs> we want him so bad. <laughs> and then after this, we got four packs of shiny fates. And then that's it. Or at least opening stuff. We want big black Charizard. I want I want Charizard and I want him big and I want him black. Give <laughs> Mario <laughs> me. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna fire thunder lightning. Nope. Dark. We got far fetched. We're dropping frames. Stop it. This is a big deal. Got far fetched. Rocks Peter City Gen. Giovanni's Exile. Coughing. Yelling Ekans. Cubone. There's we're getting a lot of the same cards. Magikarp. Geo Oh, okay. There we go. Full art fisherman. That's neato. This oh, this is a Oh, interesting. This is a shiny vault card. Okay. And Bill's anal. Okay, cool. Unexpected, but neat. Unexpected, but neat. 
Let's take a look. It's in a book reading rainbow. Um, let's see. So yeah, so the all the shiny stuff comes from the shiny vault. So you can see at the bottom here, like how it says, um, you can kind of see it. You probably, you, you guys probably can't. There's that A and then it says uh, SV83, like it's shiny vault. So it's like from a subsect of the set. And in there, the best card is this shiny Charizard GX, obviously. Let's see. I might as well just show all this off. Cynthia, Leafeon, C oh, Scizor would have been cool. Oh, that Articuno would have been cool too. Yeah. Eevee would be cool. Ho ho. Like, oh man, it would have been cool to pull any of these. Any of these cards would have been cool to pull, and I hate that we didn't. Okay, there's Lady. Lady. Um, got fucking Guzma. I'm now just looking for fucking fishermen. <laughs> Where are you, fishermen? So many shiny Pokemon. And that's the thing. These are all fucking rare. Like, these are all secret rares. So it's like super unlikely you'll get any of these. There's Hiker. There's Fisherman. Fisherman is a $10 card. Very cool. There's Voltorb, $8 card. I'm not going to complain. Yeah, that, that Charizard would have been so sick. That Charizard would have been so sick to pull. There you go. Fisherman. That was a good last card for that set to pull. Not I'm not I'm not mad about that. That in friggin Oh yeah, I didn't do anime lines for the for the Fisherman. Surprisingly, the probably the most expensive card that we've gotten so far. <laughs> but Shiny Voltorb is great. I know not even a Pokémon though. It's a Fisherman. <laughs> Voltorb, though, is great. I like that shiny Voltorb. I can't get excited for just... Dude. <laughs> shiny ball guy. Last box slash last pack. We got a Pikachu V collection. I really hope that these packs go down in price, because my god, it's ridiculous. I also bought them on pre-order and they were still expensive, which is stupid. I'm not even going to throw it. I'm just going to put it down because <laughs> I don't want to. I'm just tired. Shy dude with a stick. Okay, we got a promo jumbo. Pikachu V. Which Pikachu V might actually be worth something because you know, people love Pikachu. Everybody loves Pikachu. Pikachu cards always are pretty good priced. I have the actual version of this card, like the real like version from I forget what set it's from. Darkness of Blaze, maybe. But there's the promo version, which is cool. Four packs. We're left with four packs. I'm going to save the, the Charizard one for last. I guess we might as well. Oh, no, wait, right. I forgot not doing predictions today because Internet is absolute poo. Internet's utter garbo. And so. Might as well not even try. One, two, three. All right, let's. Grass. We got Rusted Shield. We're going to see all the same cards again. Rusted Shield. Rodham. Camerant. 
Rowlet, Eevee, Torpe Marpeko. I think I already have this Marpeko, but I love the different arts. Booziel, Booziel, Nicket, Reverse Holographic Bosses Orders, and a uh, Holographic Luxray. All right. That's okay, I guess. <laughs> that's all right, if if that's okay. Three packs. Three packs. I really want. I really want a good card. I really want like a really good card. Come on, please. I just want a really good. I just want. I just want a really good card. Is this because of the Jigglypuff thing earlier? I swear. If this is because of the Jigglypuff thing earlier. Ah. Uh. Okay. Three packs. One, two, three. Uh, steel. Hey, look at that. Will that mean anything? Maybe. Maybe not. I've been laughing at your misfortune in gaming for years. Karma dictates so you'll have you'll get lucky someday. We, I mean, uh, not last week, but the week. Oh, uh, no, not last week, but the week before. Um, no, actually, last week when we did the random boxes, there were some good cards in there too. So, but let's see. Oh, well, we can only hope. Just like we can only hope that the internet stops being horrible. We got a dart tricks, Alexio, Team Yell Towel. Morpeko, Coughing, Philosopher, Cacnea, Chewdle. Oh, that's a new card. Reverse Hollow Morpeko. See, here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing, ladies and ger germs. What's sad is that the second to last card has so far always been the shiny. So I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed. We'll see what this one is. Yeah, see, it's a holographic Decidueye, and I already have this one. See, it's the second to last card. That's like the good card. If I, if after this, if after this, here's the thing. Okay, I, you know that this is the this is the the face cam, and I haven't used this yet because there hasn't been like a rage moment, and there hasn't been like a moment where I like want to intimidate you guys. But I do have this. If there's not a fucking. If I no wait, no, sorry, I meant to, what I mean to say is if I don't have every single goddamn card in this set, if I don't have every goddamn card in this set, I'm going to lose my mind. And by every card, I mean of the normal commons and uncommons. If I go through this and it's like, oh, I'm missing like 30. I'm missing like 20 cards. You can eat my ass. <laughs> All right. Dose packs. Dose packs left. It's nice to see you again, Rowlet. Will you bring me fortune or misery? Excuse me. I'm going to fucking say a lightning. Ball guy. The wacky. Camerant. Dropping frames. I mean, none of this matters anyways. Rowlet, Shootal, Morpeko. Offing. Glossifer. I'm going to wait for it to even out and stop being horrible. Before I go to the second last card, which could be a shiny. All 
All right, looks like we're good. Second to last card. First hollow Camerant. And a, a regular rare Volcanion. Okay, game. Okay, cards. You, you, do you like, you, do you want me to get, you like, you want me to get angry, don't you? I have one more pack. One more. So far today, the only things that matter that we've gotten so far are this fisherman. This fisherman. This shiny Voltorb. Great. Love it. Gyarados GX. Sure. I'm cool with it. Bunch of reverse hollows and, ho and, and regular hollows, but who gives a gosh darn about any of that? Uh, Zorak GX, whatever. You know, uh, a Pokemon breeder. It's cool. Sucks that the best cards that we've gotten so far today are full art trainer cards, but whatever. Um, that's a promo card. So who gives a shit about that? Uh, Mewtwo GX, but it's not really worth anything. Uh, I will say Zerura G uh, Shiny. That's cool. That was neato. Love that. More Peko V. Not terrible. Love it, though. Um, Scorch Shiny. That was cool. Like that a lot. So far, that's it. Will we get... Will Shiny Charizard be inside the Shiny Charizard pack? It's open. Three cards. I mean, yes, fire for Charizard. Fire for Charizard. Nope, it's steel. It's all right. It's okay. Steel for shiny. Steel shiny. Okay. We're going to go through this one by one. Fall guy. Team Yell Towel. The Wacky. Trap Inch. Yanma. Coughing. Morpeko. Horsey. Second to last card. Is a shiny... Arctozolt. And last card is uh, Professor's Research, not holographic. I mean, hey, we got a shiny. We got a shiny. So you know what? I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be uh, too butthurt about it. Um, uh, yeah. So Arctozolt. I'm just looking at the edges of the card because they seemed a little off. But uh, Arctazolt. That's a card. <laughs> no, it's cool that we got another shiny. I'm I, I'm happy that like in the end we got another shiny, which it, I'm not I'm not mad at. I'm not mad at. It's a little it's a little poopy that we didn't get a shiny of like a Pokemon that like we know really well. You know. Okay, let's see. It's electric. I'm just looking through the list of cards. Okay, right now on TCG Player, this is going for nine dollars. So, not mad at that. There's so many, there is like, there are, a, there are like 120 shiny cards in this set and you can't give them out more. There's even shiny like V and V max cards. How rare is it to get one of those fuckers? Like I want, I want goddamn shiny uh, ditto V max, but no, you can't give that to me. You can't give that to me. You can't give me that. You can't give me that. 
man. If I were to pull this card, I would have lost my ass. I would have, I would have, I would have, I would have gone nuts. I want to see what the shiny. Okay, wait. So, uh, here we go. Uh, shiny act results. Uh, Nine dollars on TCG, thirty-five dollars on eBay. Probably because everybody's trying to get these packs. I probably won't be able to buy these packs for a while. Uh, shiny Scorch, six dollars on TCG, twelve dollars on eBay. Not terrible. Not great either, but not terrible. A lot of other Pokemon that would have been kind of more hype to get Chinese of, but you know what? I'm not mad. You know, I don't, you don't want to live. You don't want to live life angry. Oh, oh, Sept. It's because you're um, here. Actually, you know what? I might as well just do this. I'll, I'll do this now. The internet's gonna be real fucky. Because I'm going to dashboard. Uh, actually, no, subs, uh, subs have the ability to... Subs and VIPs have the ability to... Post links. But let me just go. Um, Where the heck is, um, oh, is it, oh, there we go, community. There we go, Septium. You are, you should now be a VIP. There's definitely a lot of people where I'm like, there's definitely, there's... Well, I feel, well, I mean, the thing is like, if someone subs, if someone gives money to then post a link, I'll just, I'll just then ban them. <laughs> Thanks for your money. <laughs> can't, you can't turn that around, so. No, 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 no. No, I was I was being you a VIP, which you should be anyways, because you're awesome and you're super supportive. So. So that's all good. Probably some other people I'll eventually VIP. I just haven't gotten to get around to that for a while, little while. Um, what did you what did you say? Because I uh, let's see. Your reaction reminds me of a TF2 YouTuber who did a case opening and said, if the next hat isn't going to be an unusual, I'm going to throw my headset unbox. It's a beard. Hear loud mic noise follow with some. <laughs> That's too funny. That's too funny. Well, all right. Well, let's let's just go back and look at the cards that we got. It, today was for nothing it, or no, sorry. Today wasn't for nothing is what I meant to say. So yeah, sh shiny Arctazolt. I mean, yeah, the shiny cards are are pretty rare right now. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to just gonna get rid of all these fucking. Put the good cards out, <laughs> put the good cards out. All these reverse hollows and hollows don't really matter, honestly. They're not worth anything. They don't really matter. They really don't. Like, that's the sad thing. Promo cards, whatever.
All right, there we go. So the good cards that we pulled today. But in an entire year, they've never changed the domain, so the link is still the same. <laughs> All right, so we got Santa Scorch, shiny Santa Scorch, which is cool. That's awesome. We got a Morpeko V. We got a shiny Zerua. A Mewtwo GX. A Pokemon Breeder full art card. Is this a... Uh, no, it's just full art card, which is cool. Uh, Zor Zorark GX. Gyarados GX. Shiny Voltorb. Uh, Fisherman, or Fisherman, and uh, Arctazolt. So, random cards. We got, you know, got a uh, got four shiny cards, which is dope. Two from, uh, let's see, two from Hidden Fates, or no, uh, one from Shiny Legends, one from Hidden Fates, and two from Shiny Fates. Which is cool. And I got a couple of full art cards, which is nice. Not terrible. Not terrible. Can't be bangers every week. It'll get too it'll get old too. Then oh yeah. No, exactly. If only it would cost less yeah, no, that's the thing. Is if if only it it would cost less money to buy these cards. Which like also is kind of a thing where like getting super back into the hobby, like Obviously, I don't have the income to just buy every single card that I would love to do, uh, love to have, um, or, you know, or buying collections and stuff. Like, I took what, like, extra income I did have, and it's like, well, I'm at home. I'm not really spending money on anything else. Sure, this is fun. I like it. And plus, I, I do plan on... And taking all the extra card. Actually, I might as well use the last bit of the stream to talk about this because I don't know if other people would be interested in, in it. Um, but I want to get into smithing. Oh, that'd be so cool. Smithing's awesome. That's so that'd be so dope. Yeah, it's like the same reason why I got into 3D printing and I can I'm I'm still 3D printing. I'm just not doing it at like. You know how much a decent, not even good anvil costs? 300 plus euros? Jeez. Wow. It's not terrible, but it's not great. <laughs> it's not It's not terrible, but it's not amazing. If you want a normal size one, 500 plus? Jeez. That's rough. Um, But um, I was talking, me and Anthony were recording an episode of the podcast um, our podcast, by the way, Book at Vince, find it on on. Uh, bit, 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 bit. I'm horrible at selling. I'm horrible at promoting. Book at Vince, our wrestling dream match podcast, which you can get on all podcast apps or go to our website, unknown unknownairfilms.com slash book events. Um and then I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> no, we were recording an episode and I was telling him like, yeah, I'm looking into sell. He was like, oh, what are you going to do with like uh, your cards? Are you planning on selling them? I said, well, I'm planning on selling like the extra cards that I have, like all the like. Like, really, because honestly, like I just I basically like any of the duplicates I get, like I don't want to keep duplicates. Like, I'm not the type of person that I, I, I like collecting, but I don't want to hoard stuff. So, and I do have like s extras of like some older cards too. Um, so what he, he suggested I could do, I was originally just going to sell the, uh, like a, I was going to take like uh, a good chunk of my collection of extra cards and then like go on to like try to sell them online. Like either through like, like Facebook has Facebook market. Um, there's the site in Canada called Kijiji, which is like a buy and sale. There's like Craigslist and stuff, you know. Um, but then he had a cool idea, which was, why don't you 
do like mystery boxes. Why don't you like put a bunch of cards into like a mystery box? Like, cause you, cause he said, he said like you, you said you, you got like a bunch of old cards. What if you mixed old and new cards together and then sold like a mystery pack or a mystery box? I thought, oh, that'd be pretty cool. Definitely, I could definitely make up a bunch of packs and sell them for a pretty good price. Um, and then he said, oh, and what you could do too is you could message other Pokemon like streamers that open packs on stream and you can say, hey, um, I'll I'll sell you these mystery packs that you can open on stream for a discount and give it to them for like 30% off or even 50% off or something like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm playing with the idea and I'm working it on my head. And so then what I would want to do is I'd want to like make a website for it and then sell them online and then ship them out that way. And like, I do have a lot of, uh, I do have a lot of cards. <laughs> Um, I think in my I think in my collection right now of extra cards I have, I have about 3000 extra cards. And it, within that, I have 4000 vintage 4000 Jesus 400 vintage cards. Um, and by vintage, I mean, like original, like base set uh, fossil jungle team rocket uh neo the neo cards um yeah the neo sets so yeah i have those and then i and then i have a lot of cards just from random sets and like sure a good chunk of like i would say about a third of the entire collection is like newer stuff because i've done unboxings and it's what's most around and most common right now is like all the sword and shield stuff obviously but I, I have enough cards that could be like mixed in with um, I have enough cards that could be mixed in with like old cards. So it's like and then I think I would just advertise the packs like on the website to say like you're guaranteed to get this many vintage cards. Like I have I have I have just over 400 vintage cards so I could do like two a pack. And then just figure out how many cards in a pack and then make like 200 packs and sell them that way. And so it's like you're guaranteed to in a pack. And it's not just like, oh, it's like a whatever. Yeah. And they're duplicates. So I already have them in like my binder. Like that's the thing. And but there's I will say like. The other thing, too, is like there's they're not just like whatever cards like, yeah, they're they're vintage. So it's like older cards. But like, you know, it's like you look at like a, a base set do duo. It's nothing to shake a stick at, even though people will try to make you think it like I would just message someone today. I saw their ad for selling like ba uh, uh, like they're selling like 150 base set cards. And I asked, I was like, how much do you want for the whole collection? Because, yeah, sure, 150 base set cards. Maybe there's something in there I don't have. Or it'll be cool to then have those to try to sell later. And they wanted $500 for the entire collection. Here's the thing. And also, they said it was, they said that it was, the, the collection was only commons and uncommons. So the best uncommon... The best commons and uncommons you can get are uh, very obvious. Pikachu, Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Wartortle, Ivysaur, Charmeleon. Um, there's a couple of other like random ones like Porygon and like there's some random ones that are those cards go for like or market price right now are like two to three to four dollars. I think Pikachu is like a five dollar card. But it's not like the entire collection was going to be those cards. They were, if it's a common card, it's not going to be that much. Most of the basic commons are still like less than a dollar, which isn't which isn't really anything, you know. And so like, 
Five hundred dollars for for one hundred and fifty cards. That's way too much. That's way too much. I messaged him back saying like, "That's too much for me." I I would I would honestly do like two hundred at most or two fifty maybe depending on the cards. It's just this thing I've gone on this kind of rant before, but a lot of people right now are selling cards for what they will eventually be worth. It's like, hey, these cards are worth this much now, but in 25 years, it could be more. And it's like, yeah, it could, or the market could completely just fall apart and no one fucking wants Pokemon cards anymore. So, like, <laughs> I, like I'm gonna buy, I wanna buy cards at market value. I know people wanna make money off of the cards. Fair enough. But like, I'm not gonna pay like, I'm not going to like, there's a lot of people who are selling cards right now thinking I can make loads of money off of this. And it's like, y yeah, sure. But the people that are probably going to be buying a lot of cards are collectors who kind of know how to play the game and uh, not going to sell. Like, there's still an ad. There is still an ad that's on Kijiji where the person is selling cards for $200 and he is not and they have not sold it in 3 months. Yeah, exactly. Is exactly except. Yeah. And since collecting car Pokémon cards is something that's pretty established in terms of the card scene, you got a lot of assholes who trying to make a buck, yeah. Like obviously because of demand, inflation happens. So everything's worth a lot more now than it was a year ago or two years ago but it's still the thing of like right now the card is worth five dollars i'm not gonna pay ten dollars for that card no it's not bad to try to make a buck but at, but then at the same time it's like like you can like i don't give a shit advertise that you want like twenty dollars for a five dollar card that's fine you know obviously you then also have to factor in the the fact that like the other thing, too, is like you have to factor. Obviously, you have to factor in the idea of like that you want this thing. Like and I and I do that and I factor that in when I when I look at something and I'm like, do I want to buy this? How much do I want it? Is it worth the want? Or is the want is the want or need worth that? It's like this card is worth five dollars. How much more money am I willing to pay that I want it for, you know? If it like, you know, maybe I see a card that I don't have and I really want it and it's like a $20 card. Am I willing to pay $30 for it? Maybe eventually. Right now, I right now, no, because <laughs> I don't have that kind of income to go. Sure. Why not? But like. It, the market has just gotten the the inflation on these things has got has gotten crazy. I'm really hoping that it eventually goes back down. Um, like obviously, like I just got, I obviously I got into it because it's the anniversary, it's the year of the anniversary. You know, it is pretty hype. So I was like, yeah, I'll get back into it. I'll look at my old cards. Oh, I'd like to collect more, and then maybe oh, it's a fun thing I can do on stream. Oh, it makes me happy, and I, 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 I it's fun for me. So. That's why I do it. I like the collecting. Yes, I want like. Um, but still, they're hoarding more than making money in that case. Yeah, exactly. There's some there's some there's some people that are selling on that. I constantly see it's the same people selling online and it's like no one's buying their cards. And I'm just wondering if you're just trying to make money, sell it for less. Like if you're just trying to make money, sell for less unless you are perfectly okay with just sitting with it for the rest of time until someone buys it. But I will say not a lot of people who are just like, I have whatever cash I'm going to go looking for people posting about selling cards. Um, There's not a lot of those people. The people that are going on and looking for cards to buy are people who don't really want to spend a lot of money on cards because like me, I just want to collect them and then sit on them until maybe someday I'll sell them if I'm really desperate. Or it's like, you know, I love the chase of trying to find the secret card or the really rare card. And I like that. 
And like, that's why I liked opening those like old collections that I got and finding some weird cards or cards I never knew about or a card or because it was like, ooh, I don't know what's in here. Who knows? There could be something really cool in this in this uh, collection. So, but like, I also just don't want to sit and hoard all of the cards that I have because I don't want them to take up space. And like, it would be good to then sell the cards I have so that I can use that money to buy more cards. <laughs> I'm not out here trying to like get a card uh, graded and then sell it for a thousand dollars. Like, I don't want to do that. I do want to get some of my cards graded because it'd just be nice to know what they're worth. Um, but then I'll probably just sit on them for years because yeah. And just look at them and be like, Hey, look at my collection. This is cool. I love that. I have these. Um, but like, I just don't need all these extra cards. So I'd love to do something that maybe someone would find fun. And Anthony's idea of like a, a mystery pack mystery box thing would be pretty cool. And also it's like, it's, it's interesting. I love how there are people out there who's like, okay, this is 150 cards for $500. It's like, okay, sure. Um, I was going to try to sell, I took my collection and I was like, okay, uh, let me break this into like $500 or sorry, 500 card sets. Like I took 500 cards and I made that a set and I was like, and I was planning on trying to sell like, here's a collection. There's 500 cards in it. I want $200 for it because that was just over what the market price for those cards would have been. Like I, I, I actually did the math and I like there's an app that you can use from TCG player that actually like you can input cards and then it tells you how much those cards are worth. And so I did that and then I looked and I went, OK, this collection's worth about 180 bucks. Sure, I'll list it for like 120 or 225 or 230 or something like that and see if someone buys it. And then you have people out here who are like inflating their prices so crazy because they think that someone is going to come along and pay them that much money for it, which is just which is hilarious. But maybe people would be way more into buying like 50 cards for like 20 bucks. And you might and you'll and you'll get an old card in it. Who knows? I actually have I, and it's not just like. You know, cards that are only worth like a buck. I have duplicates of like. Some expensive cards that I could just keep. But, you know, if it's going to make someone else happy and it's going to be like, oh, my God, a hologram, a base set Alakazam, that's amazing. A base set holographic, char uh, uh, not Charizard. If I had a Charizard, that'd be a totally different story. Um, oh, a, a, a holographic Gengar, that's amazing. Like, yeah, I'd rather have someone be happy that way. Because in my head, it's like, yeah, sure. The you buy a pack or a or a, or a mystery box for like twenty bucks, um, and there is a chance to get a really good card that I've collected and that I just have a duplicate of, and I want to sell it. I could just sell that card by itself, but like, but then, but then, if I just sell single cards, then I'm gonna be left with all of the cards that nobody wants, <laughs> you know. And then what do I do with those? I can't just sell those because no one's going to want to buy them. So I think the mystery box thing would be pretty cool. And then and then like what Anthony what Anthony kind of just like his his idea was like message other Pokemon content creators and say, hey, I have this mystery box. Uh, would you be interested in buying it? I'll give you a discount code so you can buy it for like 50 percent off and then you can open on stream and then just on stream just mention that. You can buy this. I even thought of it of like uh, give them a code for their viewers to them buy where they get it for like they get like 15 percent off or something like that and like put the price. So I'm actually making money and it's not like I'm losing money from it or I'm selling them for less than what they could be worth. But do that. So then and then and then obviously if I do get that set up, I would 100 percent have a code for anyone that watches me to get them for like half off because yeah the um but i just sort of i one want to get rid of these cards and two i would rather have other people who are wanting to collect and looking for cards 
get enjoyment out of it. And then Anthony said, like, if you do that sort of branching out thing, then that's a good way of networking. And then, hey, maybe the viewers from that person then come over and uh, start watching our stuff and checking out the content that you make. So. Kind of like a win win sort of thing. Who knows? I think it's a good idea, but I know that like it's basically like inventing a business. And with that comes, uh, yeah, with that comes a lot of stuff. Um, I'm looking into like how to start a website. Like I already have the Unknown Era website, but it's more of that's more of like a business website rather than like a store website. So I'm think I'm looking into how to do it because my two options are continue using the same uh, the same service that I'm using with our website. It's kind of the thing that I was sort of. I just don't want to pay more money for web hosting and stuff. Like, I don't want to pay more money for getting a domain and then getting uh, and having it hosted. Because I already pay like a hundred plus bucks a, a year for unknown error so that I can have it and run it. Um, I guess uh, it's a little behind the scenes. I'm sort of not too happy with the... <laughs> If I could have looked into the future, I would have not named the company Unknown Error Films. I would have named it Unknown Error. And I would have had all our social media be Unknown Error and I would have had everything be Unknown Error because you can just then branch it off like with the YouTube sh with the YouTube channels there's Unknown Error Films, Unknown Error Gaming. And then what I'm wanting to work on is Unknown Error Shop. And so it's it's the choices are just making another part of the website where it's unknownairfilms.com slash shop or buying a new domain, making it a new website where it's unknownairshop.com. So I don't know which way to go with because it's. Yeah, you know, it's it's just uh, it, it, it's it, it's it's just trying to figure out like what what's the best way to go about it because that's it's easy to say go to unknownairshop.com instead of go to unknownairfilms.com slash shop like I hate that there's no like way that you can just like make like a like a, a redirect URL and I know that I could like buy the website and like I could buy the domain of unknownairshop.com and then have it redirect Unknown error shop. I did look at that. I lo I looked it up, but um, when I went on to so there's this site called Shopify, which is really handy, and a lot of people, at least in Canada, use it. I don't know about the states or worldwide. Um, Shopify is really cool, and it's super easy to make a store. Um, and I looked it up, and I went to their domain register thing, and where they give you like an estimate of like how much buying this domain would be. UnknownErrorShop.com was like 17 bucks a month, while UnknownError.shop was like 35 bucks a month, which I was like, Ugh, that's uh, I don't know. I need to look. I need to do a lot more research like the like I'm not like the cards that are sitting here that I have aren't burning a hole and I'm not like, oh, man, I got to get rid of these cards so fast. Like, I want to figure out what the best thing I can do is it also like the other thing I'm I I. It, it like like keeps bogging going around my head is like well if i do unknown error shop then that can open up to in the future doing something else or selling something else like either selling something else that i make or that i create like merch um or like either merch or goods or whatever you know it opens up to like more options it's like do i want to pay more to have a better like name and easy service in terms of like you know unknown air shop the brand it's it's there it's easy or do i not spend the money and i just have it you know an extension of what i'm already paying for but it's just not the greatest name. You know, 
I could then just do a bitly. I could do a bit. Uh, I could do a bitly link, which is really easy. It would just be bitly.com or Hey. I'm still alive. Okay. Do you need me to drive you? Okay. Oh, okay. What? Wait, really? Oh, man. <laughs> Did you hit something? Oh, no. Okay. Yep, see you later. We're going to end soon here anyways, because it's getting to 3.30 and the internet keeps going in and out, in and out. Um, but what was I going to say? Yeah, I, could, I know that I could just do like a bit.ly link, bit.ly slash UE shop or something like that. Um, that'd be easy and it just would redirect to the, you know, actual website. I just don't know what people prefer anymore. It's it's so hard to tell like what people like kind of like more gravitate towards and sort of those things. Like I personally don't give a shit. Like it's so funny that there's certain people that like are really like oh this is too much work because the URL is too long or it's so confusing. It's like well, I mean, just type it in. There's so many websites that I go to now where I literally type in I go to the URL, I type in three letters and then it pops up or I have everything favorited and I just click on my bookmarks. So I don't know. I, I don't really know how people operate anymore <laughs> on that. But also it's like it's a thing of like I would probably want to advertise it on like Instagram and Facebook and stuff to then hopefully get in those people's algorithms of uh that are looking for Pokemon cards and it's like, oh, it's like the same way I found the Zard box um, or the mystery pack stuff um, where I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then I go to it. It's like so mad. Zard box is such a good name. Zardbox.com. Really easy. Like and they do theirs through Shopify, too. Um, but also, that's very much more directed to like they're specifically trying to sell Pokemon cards. And they just have a mystery box. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure it out. I just, I just, I'm so bad where I'm like, oh man, what direction do I go in? What, what do I pick? I have so many options and I want to make sure I pick the, be the best one because I don't want to waste the money on, oh, I picked the wrong thing. Got to go back and redo it. I might as well just make I might as well just make it with what I'm already paying for because like then the cost the 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 um uh what's it called the overhead will be less and I'll be making more money technically. And also then it's like if then I don't end up making anything else that I can sell on the website and I just do the Pokemon cards and then I run out of the Pokemon cards, I can just take the website down. Or I can just make that part of the website inactive. You know? I do really wish... <laughs> they're, they're, like Eventually, I think... Right now, it's not really that big of a bother to me. Eventually, I do think I want to A, change the name of the company to Unknown Error. Even though I know that's probably going to be difficult but it's just unknown error is just such a more clean name i did films because i was way more into the side of like actual film production and making creating stuff and still am but like it's just i've become more clear on like oh crap can branch out unknown error gaming you know unknown error this unknown error that and like it just works it just works unknown error gaming unknown error films unknown error Sports, I don't know, <laughs> you know, it's I know error shop The brand I know error there's a lot of possibilities uh, and it's just great to be able to like 
put things into their box of like, this is this and this is this and this is this. I have a lot of dreams and aspirations. Unknown error, error. <laughs> error, error, error. <laughs> error, error, error. I should make an error shirt. Just says error, 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 error. It was in a cool design that looked pretty cool. Maybe people will buy that. I eventually want to sell hats again. I This hat has been the godsend of this pandemic. Just keeping my hair. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go. Thanks, Sept. I'm actually going to end here anyways, because the Internet's being a roller coaster and I don't have any more cards to open. And also, it's been about three hours, so I think it's a good place to stop. Um, really quickly, just to thank people. Um, hey, thank anyone who's been here lurking, hanging out. Thank you. Um, yeah, we're probably going to move streams earlier in the days just because that's when the Internet's better. <laughs> um, we're still going to have drop frames, but at least that hasn't been as bad today as it was yesterday. Um, thank you to Emily uh, for resubbing for 30 months, which is crazy. Thank you to Alchemy for resubbing for 23 months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's amazing. Uh, thank you to Bullet for the 302 bits uh, to become the the stream boss gym leader with uh, with shiny shuckle there. And then uh, thanks to uh, Waggish Pear and Electrom, Electrom Avram for the follows. So thank you very much for hanging out. Thank you for, uh, uh, <laughs> I won't say suffering through the lag and the frame drops and the internet going in and out, but we may do. Wasn't as bad. I'm happy that I streamed today. So thank you for that. Um, pulled some cool cards. I don't know what else to say. Pulled some cool cards. Not anything super crazy, but it was still fun. It was still super fun. I really hope that I can stream sometime this week and do something other than Pokemon openings. Maybe try to find like a, an indie game to play. Something easy and hopefully the internet holds up for that. Don't know, but we'll see where it goes. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for hanging out. Um, I wonder if any of this will work. Yeah, okay, yeah. Join our social page. Check out our YouTube or social pages. Check out our YouTube channels. Um, and otherwise, have a great rest of your weekend. And hopefully it's nice and sunny and beautiful where you are. And just stay safe during these tough times. And keep being awesome and amazing. We'll talk to you later. Bye, DJ. Take care. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.